Here is a side view, what my scars look like. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Cohen here. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, I started YouTube for my top surgery content. Today is November 6th, and I had my top surgery on April 24th. So October 24th would have been my six month post-op, so obviously I'm a little behind on that due to it's November 6th right now. So I kind of wanted to go over, you know, obviously what surgery I had if you're new to this channel and you didn't watch my top surgery video or what surgery I was having with the doctor. I kind of want to show my scars and like see how they've been. The doctor that I went through was Raymond Isakoff and uh, he is based out of Cleveland, Ohio. I did have, if you watched any of my videos, I did have a video of me going to a Ohio State uh, doctor, because that's where I live as in Ohio and Columbus. I wanted to go, obviously to him, because he's closer to the house and I could like just came straight home and all the so on and so forth with all that. And it wouldn't have been too much of a travel for us to go through or like have to pay for a hotel, but that didn't work out due to we went to another doctor which was Isakoff. We loved the staff, loved everything about the Cleveland Clinic that we went to and I just felt more content and like I don't know like seen with him and I just felt better. The staff was like super sweet, super nice, obviously very much respecting my pronouns. You know going over any questions that I may have had without like an attitude or without like any hesitation to answer the questions for me. He was very helpful and so wasn't his staff super helpful. Absolutely love his staff to death like they're amazing people and um, I highly like recommend him. He, he was just he was just great. So I had the surgery like I said back in April 24th and I had to stay overnight that first night in the hospital afterwards and not for any issues or anything it's just for like insurance purposes they make you stay overnight to make sure that everything's just going run smoothly and nice and easy um and then the very next day marissa showed up uh she had to get a hotel room that night and then showed up at the hospital the next day and came and sat with me for a couple of hours until they finally discharged me and i got to go home um, and then we drove from cleveland all the way back to the house the next day so um, while i'm also talking about this i'm probably gonna put some pictures up on the side right here because it's super cute of uh, on the way home i have like a little pillow around my chestish area to kind of protect my chest from the seat belt um, just so I wasn't rubbing on anything it was like super comfortable and felt great I didn't have any pain whatsoever after top surgery um, due to obviously the pain meds that I was receiving and you know just making sure I was taking the extra precaution of just protecting myself in the car on the ride home so this is us driving home obviously my fiance it's so cute look at that smile this was me leaving the hospital before getting in the car so the very next day i was actually able to take off my binder and stuff i had to like clean the drain area and take all that gauze off of it supposed to change my dressings along my chest pretty much almost got to see like my scars and like my chest the day after I had surgery. I know a lot of people that I have watched on YouTube had to keep their binder on for a solid week, not be able to see their chest until they went back to the doctor. But I actually got to take mine off. This is the picture of me the first time seeing it the next day. It was a little bit bruised, but it was also like from some of the ink and stuff that he put on my chest area like the little discoloring so obviously some of the marks on my chest is from like the marker that he put on it's not really bruised and i was extremely bloated make sure you obviously get you know all the stuff that the doctor's wanting you to get but also get like stool softeners because i took that and i still had a hard time using the bathroom if you think about it when you're when you're pooping let's get really intimate in this scenario you're using your chest and your ab muscles to kind of like poop in a sense to do that it hurts to <laughs> use the restroom so take a stool softener so you're not pushing in a sense as hard and not hurting your chest and like your body and stuff to do that i couldn't for the life of me use the restroom for probably a good solid like three days after surgery it sucked i'm happy i got the stool softener because it helped a little but i think i probably should have taken them a little bit more other than that i didn't really have too bad of pain the only pain that i really had was from my drainage area and i felt like that was just because i still had stitches attached to the drain to where obviously the drain 
drain wouldn't come out so it was attached to the drain and it just kept there and i think that my stitch i was kind of pulling on that drain a bit and like the stitches were hurting in a sense so other than that i didn't really have very many like pain whatsoever like there was hardly any pain i think it was just the drains that i've ever had pain with in this picture you can see a little bit of the bruising that i'm going to show up here that was six days after my surgery and obviously whenever you have top surgery you cannot lift your arms up so high because you don't want it to like pull on your scars and stretch them out i think i did just a tad bit too extra um a few times of trying to lift myself up and i think it might have pulled a little bit on my scars on the sides the front part of my scars um aren't as thick as like the side parts underneath like where my uh, armpits and stuff are i'm not too too concerned with it it doesn't look that bad just a little thick but not the whole thing is thick so and i have seen a little bit of like scarring around my nipples due to probably maybe getting stretched out as well either losing weight or gaining weight and it's causing some little bit of stretch on my nipples the surgery itself went amazing and obviously getting home with drains in my side that was probably the hardest part felt like i could probably run a marathon the moment that they finally came out of my body everything went perfect i feel like everything went great uh, marissa was a huge help with you know getting everything done that i needed to get done with helping me eat and stuff along those lines for those first couple of weeks when i had my drains in really sucked definitely have somebody that you fully trust is also there like for you mentally like physically you can have have like the best person there for you but mentally not being able to do stuff for yourself it really does mentally hurt and like kind of the depression of after surgery does suck but having somebody that knows you in a sense and you don't feel like a burden to is very tremendously like very helpful sitting here now i would have went through it 150,000 more times to get the same outcome that I did. I absolutely love how everything is now and like my chest and now obviously I'm able to move and do everything that I can do before, if not better because I just feel way more comfortable and confident. All right, so obviously I am done talking. I feel like I've been talking for 40 minutes, but it's really only actually been like half of that time. Um, I wanted to go over and show you what my scars look like and just so you guys kind of have like an idea of like how it all looked as you can see that this scarring here it's a little bit thicker than what i would like it to be but i'm honestly okay with it it's a little bit of purple but then when you get to here you can hardly even see my scars which is insane to me and then here you can hardly see and then you can see it starts to get a little bit thicker on the side here is where you can't even see it you see that little like barely even a scar right there that is where the drainage was coming in and it went up in and went through here and then on the other side i can't even feel where it's at i think it was right here is where there's like a little bit of a bump whenever i put my arm up you can see a little bit of stretch marks i don't know if i've just lost weight or if i gained muscle in my chest and what my skin was ready for and then it's almost the same thing over here whenever i lift my arm up you can see a little bit of stretching here the chest muscles i've been trying to work at them i'm still trying to lose this fat and this extra skin that's over here and lose a little bit just so like whenever i have my arms down you kind of see a little bit of dog ears is what they call it but not as much as what i thought was going to be at the beginning so like it's definitely went down a lot my nipples they look pretty good there's not really much scarring but you can see a little bit of scarring right there is really the only one on this side and then it's the same thing on this side is just a little bit of scarring right here they look really good and they're symmetrical i'm still trying to work that out and like trying to lose some weight and a little bit of dog ears here but when i actually like flex you can't even see them you can't see the dog ears whatsoever or if i'm like put my arms up like this you can't really see the dog ears it's something that i'm obviously still trying to work on just tightening up this which i don't know if i can tight it up really that much unless i get but other than that they look they just look great. Here is a side view of my chest. <laughs> it came out tremendously, like, amazing. Way better than I thought it ever could have been. So, if you want to go back into another video that I have of before top surgery and look at how I felt whenever I took my shirt off and then look at me now with this one on, I kind of did that video in a sense together 
of like how my chest looks now but it was like a couple months after post-op so like the scars wasn't as healed as what they are now so you obviously have the shirt on it just feels so much lighter like literally weight lifted off your chest <laughs> If you guys have any questions or anything about my top surgery or any questions about, you know, anything along those lines of top surgery and how it went, any questions from Marissa of how she helped me through top surgery after the surgery, and just, you know, anything about having like the caregiver, caretaker for top surgery. If you are a caretaker person that's going to be taking care of somebody during or after top surgery, uh, definitely don't hesitate to reach out and ask any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. If you have yet to subscribe, do down below. Uh, follow my Instagram. I don't post much on it. I need to but i will but thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys next time bye